Hello crypto fam, thanks for tuning back to my channel. As you all know, Ethereum merge has been successful few weeks back and now Ethereum uses proof of stake consensus mechanism. Now I wanted to discuss replay attacks today as Ethereum proof of work chain has been forked and some miners want to continue with proof of work consensus mechanism chain. Now if you want to interact with proof of work chain, you might lose your ether on main proof of stake chain and this can happen via replay attacks. So in this video, I'll discuss what are replay attacks and how chain IDs play an important role in protecting from replay attacks whenever new chains are forked. And we will briefly talk about EIP-155 which was introduced to protect from replay attacks. We will also talk about what precautions you should take if you want to interact with proof of work chain. See, you need not take these precautions if new chain ID has been already implemented but as I check the GitHub repo of proof of work chain, I still see the PR is not yet merged and we will talk more about it later in the video. So grab a cup of tea as we are getting started. Now I have pulled up this article from Medium. I'll also give you the link of all the articles that I use in this video in the description. So be sure to check it out. First, forget about multiple chains. Let's discuss what is a replay attack on a single chain. Now let's say you do a transaction on a chain. What if somebody uses that transaction as it is valid, it contains all the valid data and again broadcast it back to the network. Your funds will get debited twice, thrice, as many times as possible. Now to prevent this, there is something called nonce that gets added into each transaction. So I have opened this link from ethereum.org website and as you can see, a submitted transactions include all this information and one is nonce a sequentially incrementing counter which indicate the transaction number from the account. So essentially if you try to broadcast that same transaction twice, your nonce will be similar and that's how the network will know that you are trying to broadcast a already existing transaction. Another thing that the network checks is whether it contains any duplicate hashes. So if your transaction has the same as some other transaction then also that transaction will get rejected. So this is built in mechanism in the networks and that's how replay attack is prevented on a single chain. But what about multiple chains? Now as you know proof of work chain has been forked from the main ethereum chain and till the point of fork there will be a common history. Everything will be as it is. How much ether you would have held in your main chain is also available on proof of work chain. Now this is where the attack comes into play and we will also try to understand with this visualization which very nice visualization which has been given over here. Let's say Bob has 20 tokens on original chain. He will have 20 tokens on the fork chain as well. Now if the fork chain hasn't added the necessary solution and we will discuss that later and this is basically if they haven't implemented a new chain ID. Both chains will be exposed to replay attacks. Now this is how replay attacks in fork chains work. OX Bob has 20 tokens on C1 original chain and 20 tokens on C2 the fork chain. Now OX Bob decide to send 20 tokens to C2 to OX Evil. OX Bob signs the transaction and sends it to the C2 network. Now this is the fork chain where Bob is trying to send some tokens to Evil. And now what happens is Evil being Evil will copy the contents of this transaction and submit it to the original chain which is C1. Now in this case, Bob only intended to send his tokens on this fork chain. However, Evil has copied all this transaction and broadcasted it on the original chain. Since all the data is valid, Bob's token will be debited on original chain as well. And this is known as replay attacks. Now why was this transaction valid in first place? Let's say at the time of chain split, the nonce for OX Bob was zero. When OXBOT did the original transaction on C2, the fork chain, the nonce incremented to 1. However, the nonce for OXBOT on C1 chain is still 0, so a transaction with nonce 0 will be accepted there. And similar is the case of hash of the copied transaction. Since this transaction is happening first time on the original chain, it will be accepted as a valid transaction on the original chain. Now to prevent this, EIP-155 was launched. When Ethereum and Ethereum Classic split to prevent the replay attacks, EIP-155 was introduced in which a unique chain ID was introduced for all the EVM based chains. So if all the chains have different chain ID, then the replay attack simply cannot happen because you cannot replay the transaction of one chain onto other because both have now different chain IDs. Now I want to show you this GitHub repo of Ethereum proof of work chain 
And as you can see, this is Ethereum proof of work. And you can see implement fork ID a replacement value of chain ID for the IP155 transaction signature. However, it is still open. The PR has been approved several times as I can see. And there have been some discussions of using which chain ID. However, it's not merged. So until it gets merged, it is prone for replay attacks. If you want to interact with Ethereum proof of work chain, here is a nice article on it. I will give you the link in the description. You can read more in detail about it. But one thing that you should do is you set up a new wallet and then perform transaction between these two wallets. Even if these transactions get replayed, it's your own wallet. So that is one way you can actually do transactions if you want to do anything on proof of work. Just make sure to create another new wallet which you own and then try to perform transactions between both of these wallets. So that is it for this video folks. In this video, we actually covered replay attacks in context of cross chain attacks. However, replay attacks can also happen in different other ways, which we will discuss in a separate video and hope you all liked it. If you like, please give a like to this video, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments. How did you find this video? What else do you want to see? And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.